This is a short demo of GBD Flickr version 2.1 Adobe plugin. I'll show you how to use it with After Effects CS 5.5, but it's nearly identical on Premiere Pro. Here I have a short clip of the morning sky with some jet contrails. This is a sequence of time-lapse images, but you can use GBD Flickr on any kind of source material. Although this clip is 9 seconds long, I trimmed the start and end to only 5 seconds. You can see there's a lot of flicker that must be removed to make this clip useful. To remove the flicker, I'll get the GBD flicker effect and drop it onto the layer. I press the spacebar to view the clip again, and you can see that the flicker is gone. This example was easily deflickered using the default GBD flicker settings but some material is more resistant to deflickering. I'll show you the effect options and explain what they do. The first setting is the luminance, containing two graphs, the histogram and luminance curves. The histogram graph shows the input histogram of the current frame. In yellow is the input luminance, the histogram mean value. In green is the desired luminance, GBD Flickr adjusts the color values so that the output histogram will have this desired luminance value. As I move through the clip, you can see how the histogram changes. Here at this point, I can see that part of the red channel is clipped. If I turn on the red channel, you can see that a number of input pixels are at the maximum value. This small amount of clipping is tolerable, but much more might make it impossible to deflicker. If there is too much clipping, there is no way to adjust the output to eliminate flicker. There are other options to display the green and blue channels. And the output. Here you can see the input histogram, the black line filled with white, and the output histogram, a second black line. As I scrub through the clip, you can see that some frames are changed significantly, and others not so much. Now let's look at the luminance graph. I'll zoom the vertical axis to get a better look. The yellow line is the luminance over the duration of the clip from 0 to 285 frames. Part of the curve is missing because I've trimmed the start and end to only 150 frames. For the frames present in the clip, you can see that the yellow line fluctuates a great deal. This fluctuation indicates the amount of flicker. In fact, you can see that the input variance is 2.69. As I play through the entire clip, GBD Flicker builds the desired luminance curve based on the deflection and correction methods we are using. More about that in a minute. The green line is the desired luminance. GBD Flicker adjusts the output histogram to match the values on this green line. You can see that the green desired line is much smoother, so the output should have much less flicker. Now I'll check the output box. And play through the clip again to see how well GBD Flicker does. You can see it did a good job of matching the desired luminance. In fact, the output variance 0.17 is reduced down from 2.69. These variance numbers are just indicators of the performance and have no other useful meaning. I'll uncheck the output. It's not necessary and just adds another time-consuming step to the deflicker calculation. Now for the deflicker options. Don't deflicker. 
You can set this keyframe value to turn deflickering on and off. There may be a segment of your clip that doesn't need to be deflickered. The deflicker method has two choices, smoothing or keyframes. With smoothing, the desired curve is a moving average of the input values. With keyframes, you can create desired values as a sequence of straight lines. You can see how smoothing created a smooth desired luminance curve. I'll switch to keyframes and add a starting keyframe. If I click the yellow triangle, it sets the keyframe luminance to match the input value. If I drag the green triangle, I can set any value I want. I'll turn on keyframes in the layer by clicking the little stopwatch by luminance. and add an ending keyframe. I'll match the input again. After I play through, you can see the straight line value. Using keyframes, you can make any curve you want. No matter what method you use, always play through the clip before doing a final render. The correction method has three choices, linear, shift, and gamma. Please read the user's guide for descriptions of these methods. Linear is the default and works in most cases. Shift works many times when linear doesn't quite do the job. Gamma may work for some other clips that are resistant to the first two methods. When you use keyframes and shift correction, the spread value is enabled. The spread is the histogram standard deviation and is a measure of the width of the histogram. If I turn on the output again, you can see how changing the spread affects the width of the output histogram. Normally you want the spread value to match the input spread when you set a keyframe. This is done automatically when you click the yellow triangle on the histogram. I'll turn off the output again and I'll switch back to smoothing. And set the number of keyframes to 5. See how the desired curve more closely follows the input compared to the curve for 30 frames. Which makes a more gradual change. It's up to you to determine what looks best in each case. There are two other choices related to clipping. If your project has significant clipping, you may want to experiment with these. Adjust for clipping and clipping percentage. They're explained in the user's guide. The final set of options allows you to overlay the histogram on the output. Here, if I turn off flickering, you can see how the histogram jumps around. That's flicker. I'm going to turn deflicker back on. You can see how steady the histogram is. So that's a quick overview of the GBD flicker controls. Please consult the user's guide for more information. The best way to deal with flicker is to prevent it in the first place. If you're doing time lapse, please check out my time lapse software, GB Time Lapse. It's designed to capture images with a minimum of flicker. If you have a project that resists deflickering and doesn't have clipping, please contact me. I'm always looking for ways to improve the algorithm. 
happy deflickering.